Okay, so today we will take a look at the new OBD11 adapter. We will compare it to the old one. So this new is OBD11 3 and we can compare it to old adapter OBD11 2. From what I have understand, there are not that many differences, but if you don't have any adapter and you want one, I definitely recommend going with OBD11 3 because they are planning to extend functionality for more brands. For example, already it is not scanner only for VAC. You have some special features like coding, unlocking new features for BMW, for Toyota, Lexus, and apparently they want to extend it to more car brands. So if you are buying adapter, I suggest buying OBD11 3. You will have it ready for those other brands when they come and also best place to buy obd11 is always on obd11 website there is a link in description and you can even use coupon code carhacker and you will get extra 10% discount so let's compare them by the way if you are new to this channel i'm yuri i test obd2 scanners i have tested hundreds of them and all the best scanners i have put on my website on the page obd2 scanner guide it is linked in description and on that page you can choose best obd2 scanners by budget type or car brand and if you are not sure which scanner type is for you click the link on top download my obd2 scanner buyer's guide and i will send you a short pdf which explains differences between scanners and you will know which one is right for you First I want to take OBD11 2 and I want to compare if the OBD11 3 will be faster at scanning. So I have connected it to my Golf, connect to OBD11 2. It wants me to create pin number for adapter, so I will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now you know my pin, you can steal my adapter somehow. <laughs> Not even sure what this pin code is for, but okay, we created it. Now I have to input car details, so this is Golf. 5 door hatchback, hit OK. And now it already wants me to switch to new app, but first let's try full scan in old app for both adapters and then we will check out the new app. I haven't even used the new app myself yet. I know it is around for a long time, but I haven't had chance to do it. By the way, now on this channel, I try to focus more on scan tools or scanners that works for all car brands instead of just VAC. But I know I started with a lot of VAC videos. So in case some of you watch this channel regularly and you are here for VAC content, I also made only VAC channel a while back, it is called VAC Hacker, you can check it out, I will put it in the description as well. And they are only VAC videos. Okay, of course I will not let you wait for the full scan. So right now I am editing the video and I am doing voiceover, so I can just quickly check how long was the scan. So for the old adapter, it is 3 minutes and 35 seconds to do a full scan. Now, OBD11 app never had the fastest scan. There are scanners that could scan this car for one minute. So hopefully the new adapter can cut down this time. So out with old adapter, let's try OBD11 3. Connect it to OBD port. Okay, let's connect OBD11 3. Again, it wants me to go to that new app and we will do that soon. But first let's compare the full scan time for the new adapter. Okay, so new adapter is definitely faster and it is about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. So it seems to be about 30% faster in the old app. But I now realized I have seen the message that tells me to go to the newer app and it says the newer app is fastest for scanning. So I have the OBD11 3, which is new adapter plugged in. So let's check out this new app because I am curious about that. Okay, so let's go to OBD11. So new app is called OBD11. Old app is called OBD11 VAC. Let's try connecting, detecting vehicle. Now I have waited for a while and then it asks for the VIN number. So unfortunately I have to look for my card to find VIN number, input it manually, hit enter and now the scan started automatically. So let's check out how long that will be. Okay, and in the new app it is definitely faster because it was about 2 minutes. So we went from the almost 4 minutes with old adapter and old app to about 2 minutes with new adapter and new app. I still like the old app better for some reason. I'm not sure, maybe I just have to get used to it. So let's check out this app if it is the same thing as old one. This is actually my first time using this app. I know I have tried it one time, but it was Toyota and I back then it could just read some engine faults. So basically this is my first time using this app. Okay, so we got a list of control modules. Okay, then of course you have one click apps like with old app. We could maybe try using some app. For example, maybe I can do cornering lights. 
or no super tet. But okay, this is great because I think in the old app it wouldn't tell me that app is not supported and then you would just spend credits but you wouldn't get nothing in return. So here at least it tells me that it is not supported. We can try activating food well lights. I am lazy to look if they are installed. So to see if they are installed, I can just turn off the light in garage, close the door and when I activate app, we will see if anything will light up. Because I know I activated it one time for my friend, he had Audi A3 about the same year. So let's try activating it, but no, there aren't food well lights installed unfortunately. Okay, so let's try something different, we could do... Oh, this we can do US DRL, turn lights as position lights. So this basically will make my turn signal be permanent. Okay, let's do that. And we should be able to... And yes, we can select brightness. And this worked. And now my turn signals are permanent. This is cool modification, but it is not safest one. Because if you are if you get into accident with these lights, you could have some issues. So I will just deactivate it. And yeah, now I'm already getting used to the app. It isn't as bad as when I first started it. So you have a bunch of other things you can do. Mileage check with this app. App also says that the hybrid battery check feature is coming soon and you have also this used car inspection assistant so you will tell it what car are you buying and it will give you a few steps to what to look for. Not a bad thing. I did actually a lot of used car inspections and often you forgot these things so it is nice reminder to have when you are buying one because you will be scanning it anyway so you might as well just use this as a checklist if you checked all of these things. And yeah, this is it for now. I will be not going over all OBD11 features. For that, if you go to that channel, Hacker, there is OBD11 video about 20 minutes and in there I go over, I believe, all OBD11's functionality. So if you are about to buy adapter, definitely go with OBD11 3 and if you want to learn maybe some new thing about using it, you can go to my other channel and check the OBD11 guide.